Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing Helix Derby, which I already did a live stream on this game, so if you would like to check that out or more of an unfiltered version, feel free to go to the link in the description. Just a quick explanation of this game, Helix Derby is a revolutionary AI-driven horse game that promises to redefine the digital racing arena. We're going to be looking at how to play the game, how to start the game, and how to get your hands on different AI-driven horses, and I'm just going to be dissecting the game little by little. This is going to include some of my personal opinions on the game, but I'm also going to be trying to stay unbiased and towards the middle of the game where we're actually playing the game and not just talking about it the entire time. If you guys would like to join the game at any time throughout the video or after the video, the link to join will be in the description. Anyways, without further interruption, let's get into the video. Welcome to the enigmatic Helix Derby. In the past, this planet thrived with a flourishing civilization, vibrant culture, and cutting-edge technology. Sadly, a catastrophic solar storm forcefully detached our planet from the solar system, yet our ancestors preserved. They preserved the dazzling cultural treasure of that era, the horse racing culture, by infusing its spirit into a crystal. Their hope was to immortalize our planet's memory among the stars, believing that one day this crystal would be discovered by a life form in the universe, spreading the horse racing culture further. In this moment, you are destined to be the herald, the potential ruler of the Helix Derby, and the embodiment of our planet's future and hope. Make your presence known, choose a name that echoes, prepare for trials, and ignite the radiance of Helix Derby throughout the universe once more. Okay, so I have to create my character. I'm just gonna go ahead and randomize. Um, let's see. Bree Hawthorne, 450. You know what, Bree? Bree, you'd look really good like this. There's, there's your Bree Hawthorne. Please enter a name with 3 to 10 characters. But you gave me my name. How about this one? Fay Har 221. Okay, so it's not accepting any of its randomized names. That's a little bit interesting. So we're going to do Peach Peach. But with two E's. Peach Peach, well done. To welcome you, we have prepared a surprise gift for you, which is filled with all the items you'll need for your adventure on this planet. Don't hesitate. Click to claim it immediately. Claim. Exciting news! During our journey in Helix Derby, we have discovered four races of extraordinary tramp horses and 12 horses have already been unlocked. Hybrid. There are a few horses that don't favor any specific running style. They are so versatile that they can adapt any running style at request. We call these horses hybrids. A closer is a horse that will go right to the back of the pack from the very beginning of the race. It's not unusual for these horses to be dead last for more than half the race. Then they unleash what is known as their kick and sweep past all of the horses in front of them for a dramatic come from behind victory, aka secretariat. <laughs> front runner. A front runner is a horse that likes to break from the gate like lightning and run as fast as they can for the entire race. They like to be up front on the lead because they do not particularly enjoy dirt from other horses in front of them being kicked into their face. They are very dangerous when they have an open wide lead because it is most comfortable and they have plenty of gas left for the final stretch. Stalkers are horses that like to sit behind the leader. They remain in this position until the late stages of the race and then pounce on the weary front runner, passing horses up on their way to winning a race. Okay, so we have multiple types of race horses, as you just saw, which will be useful for trying to depict which one would be the best to ride. Goal of Helix Derby. Train your champ horses to perfection by competing in fast-paced matches across various track lengths. Transform them into the swiftest horses in the world. Afterwards, enter public races, secure the championship, and bask in rewards and glory. These are the functions or how to race your horse in the actual racetrack. So you either click Q or you press the icon that's showing right here to whip, and W or again press the button to overtake swiftly. Sprint is E or to click the sprint icon that you're seeing right here to put the horse into a sprint and it's also best to use at final sprint stage. And lastly, hold or R, and this is to hold the horse back in case you want to save up stamina or speed. Trained operation. After training, analyze the race curve and skill release data. Compare them with historical curves and optimize the training accordingly. Oh, we love some good old analytics. AI predict race. AI can predict the upcoming race potential running curve, along with the likelihood of finishing within a specific time interval. Experienced champ horses with knowledge, power, and strength. Take a look now. Okay, so mighty atom. Champ horses ready for training journey. With meticulous training, they become stronger and earn rich rewards. Click to go to the race training ground and start racing. We're training, start training, not racing. We're training first. <laughs> Three, two, one, ready, go! They're off in the race. Okay, so we're going to be using the whip skill and gain a speed boost. So I'm just gonna click. Energy depleting fast, use the R skill to conserve. So we're gonna be holding the horse back. 
okay but now we have to whip the horse i'm so confused use the keyboard w or click the mouse to activate the breakthrough skill and try to surpass the horses in front there are horses in front you can see that i am in first and all these invisible people are behind me <laughs> okay here we have to whip again the ai man is complimenting me Okay, I think we're getting close, yeah, to where we use the E key. And this is to gain a burst acceleration effect, instantly increasing your speed. This is like the finishing move, the final stretch move. Congratulations on completing the race gameplay guide, and now go ahead and start a real training race. Well done, begin conditioning your champ horse to become more powerful. Are we training or racing? Okay, looks like we're training. I'm training up against a bunch of robots. Three, two, one, ready. Go! And you're off. Into the turn. A couple of horses go for me. Number one, two. Okay, so I'm in first place right now. Number two in second. What I did say in the live stream is I wish that there was a way to um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mute him for a second. There I wish there was a way to look back because currently you can't see other than the placings right here, you can't see who is where. And I believe it is in Rival Stars Horse Racing where you can look back and see where other people are compared to your spot. Um that would be a really cool addition to see. Hey, we got first place. It's Miss Peach Beach. Let's go. Okay, so you can see this is my running curve. Do we have the original curve? Can I add that onto there? Okay, so not much different. Not a huge amount of difference right there. We were off from the perfect curve, though. Trained Curve is also a product of our AI analytics. It represents the most current performance course of the champions stored in our database. This curve is the primary reference for AI calculations and public races where no player interventions exist. Players can compare this curve with the perfect and original curves to understand variations and trends over time. It's beneficial for races where AI entirely governs the champion's actions. The perfect curve depicts the ideal performance course for the champion. It serves as a foundational reference for players during their initial training phase. Players can use this curve as a benchmark to compare against the champion's actual race results and adjust training strategies accordingly. Generated by our advanced AI algorithms, the original curve predicts the champion's performance in the upcoming race, assuming no skills are employed. This prediction is based on a standard distribution, so actual results may vary. Before the race, players can review this curve to gauge the potential outcome without skill intervention. It can help plan which skills to deploy during the race to optimize performance. Optimize race strategy by comparing trained, perfect, and original curves horizontally. Aim to closely approach the perfect curve for better results. We have different racing options. We have training race, ranked race, which says season 1, or S1. I don't know if that stands for season 1, but I'm guessing. And this is unlocked after level 6. We have room race, which means you can create a room or enter a room. This is mostly for friends. And then scheduled race is just a race that they schedule beforehand, so you know you won't miss it. It'll be there right in front of you. We have all of the horses presented here. So you can also narrow them down to the different types of racing styles. So we have front runner, stalker, hybrid, and closer. So you can just click on one of them and it it's kind of acts as like a filter to filter through them. And it also gives a description again of what the racing styles are and how they're different from the others. I'm gonna go for the hybrids. Okay, ooh, we're gonna go for Big Sai. Big Sai looks like a Tron horse. We love to see it. I'm <laughs> petting my horse. Let's go. Okay, let's do some training on Big Sai. Noble Stride Raceway starts immediately when six horses are ready. Okay, so all of them are bots again, so we're racing up against bots. I'll try a scheduled race or another race style in a little bit. I kind of want to wait for me to get to level six. That way I can compete in the big boy races or the ranked races. Okay, so we're in first right now. We're doing pretty good. Oh, wrong, wrong key.
Hey, we still got first, even though I pressed the wrong keys. Dun, 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 dun. We're very far from the perfect curve. Actually, right here, we're the closest to the perfect curve. Towards the end. I think this is right here where I... Where's my show skill? Yeah, I think this is where I use the hold back function. Let's go ahead and use birdie. This hero is designed based on Mind That Bird, winner of the 2009 Kentucky Derby that defined a 15-1 odds, second lowest in the Kentucky, Kentucky Derby history. Born in 2006, Mind That Bird's victory in the prestigious race captured the imagination of racing fans due to his status as an unexpected underdog. This triumph marked one of the most remarkable upsets in the history of the Kentucky Derby, underscoring the unpredictable and captivating nature of thoroughbred racing. It's actually really cool that they kind of base the racehorses off of actual racehorses because the racing industry is such a big mop of historical stories of this horse wasn't meant to race well and ended up beating everybody else because thoroughbred racing is completely based on how this game does its stats, how the horse was in training and analytics of can this horse withstand this much stamina? Can this horse be this fast? A lot of races are more based on stamina. Some are based more on speed. I mean, it's like a, it's just an always learning sport. You're always learning what could be done better. You're always learning what horse will perform better even though the odds are stacked against them. Okay, so train stats. Um, I have not trained this horse just yet, so the train stats aren't there. And the race prediction normal distribution okay i do want to do create room and see if this still adds bots to it that is cool it doesn't bring bots immediately into your match anymore so you can create a match or create a room without having to worry about bots joining and ruining the planned race with you and your friends insufficient level participate in quick race to level up okay we'll do training race ready go into the turn. A couple of horses go for the lead. They're going to the rail. Just a length or so. Okay, I get it. It's full energy. Stop screaming at me. <laughs> We're coming up near the end right now. And I'm still in first. <laughs> I love how there's two people competing on Big Sai. Victorious! Oh my god, I love that TV show. Let's go. Congratulations on unlocking Ranked Race! Let's go! I unlocked the Ranked Race. Okay, Iron. Okay, so Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Emerald, Gold, Master, Grandmaster, and Challenger. I just stopped playing a game that does ranks, and oh my gosh, I don't think I can do this again. Each season of ranked matches lasts approximately three months. Rank rules. There are 10 ranks and ranked matches, which we just went through. Diamond and lower ranks have four sub-ranks each. Grandmaster and higher ranks only have one rank. All ranks use a point promotion mechanism with promotion points as follows. I'm not reading all of that. <laughs> but just know that that is there. There's no upper limit on points for the challenger rank and the points ranking will be updated daily. The top three players gain positive points while the bottom three lose points. Players in ranks below silver won't lose points when losing matches. It is cool that it says the top three players gain positive points because it's usually only the first horse, the first place winner that gets points in a lot of games. So it is cool that because it doesn't apply to just the first horse that wins, you still have a chance to gain points even if you don't get first place. Um, but yeah, I, I am iron. Ranked leaderboard. Let's look at the leaderboard. I plan to get on the leaderboard today. I don't know if I have to do much to get on the leaderboard. Okay, let's do... Let's do Mighty Adam. Actually, I had good luck with Birdie. Only 25 seconds left to choose. Does it auto select for you once you don't select a horse in time, or does it just kick you out of the race? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. So these are all actual players. All right, so we gotta take this seriously. We're playing against real players. 
I'm guessing because it's not bots, it's going to be a little bit tougher. I think these are, are these the racing club? ZZ, join? I don't know what those mean. Three, I'm going to guess two, those are the racing clubs. Five, ready, go! Which I have yet to talk about in this game. <laughs> All right, so we're doing decently. I'm in third place currently, but I'm about to overtake to second place. Okay, I'm about to overtake to first place. Energy depleting fast, but you just told me I was full energy. Oh my god. See? Okay, now it says full energy. So I'm confused. What is it? Full energy or energy depleting fast? I'm just gonna go ahead and chill here. Because they're not trying to overtake me. Never mind. Bravo's getting a little too close for comfort. Okay, so I got first place. Okay, we were actually pretty close to the perfect curve. Let's go. I got 14 points for that race. So I want to go look at the clubs, which I haven't looked at just yet. And these are racing clubs. Yeah, see, here's ZZ, which is what we saw earlier. Michael13, come join my club. Very, very enticing with this description, come join my club. <laughs> these two are the only ones that are open. Um, actually, the Helix Derby tournament has a lot of slots but for this one you need to join the discord which isn't a bad thing but i know a lot of people may not do that because of that one to create a club i need to be level 20 or higher and i'm gonna go ahead should i apply to join limitless infinity i like how this one is rahi the person who owns it their name is rahi the club's name is rahi the announcement is join my club and the actual description or like the, uh, I guess, logo for them is Rahi. This person knows what they're doing. <laughs> so if you go to my race, you can see the trained operation and the different types of analytics. And you can also see the race history. So for example, if you were to go to a horse that you've raced before, Mighty Adam, you can see the races that you did with them. Birdie, Big Psy, and I don't think I race any of the other horses. You can also see underneath their name, it says Philly or Colt. I mean, Colt is a male racehorse, Philly is a female racehorse, because, you know, once they become mayor stallion, they're usually out of the racing industry or in the bigger races. You can see starts and win rate. I don't have a win rate below 100%. So, for example, Birdie has two starts, which means how many races they've started in, and the win rate is the percentage of their ability to win or how much they've won. I'm just going to go ahead and do some more training races. Uh, let's go ahead and do... I kind of want to go look at the other horses and see some quick facts about them. It's still searching for the race. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at the race horses and see the facts about them and kind of what they were based off of or their inspo. I was about to ask if Shambo is based on Sham and then I read this. This hero is designed based on Sham. Sham is often regarded as Secretariat's formidable rival. Notably, Sham emerged victorious over Secretariat on one occasion, leveraging his penchant for pursuing frontrunners and clinching victories in the home stretch, a hallmark of his racing era. Though what's different is Sham in the game is a filly, not a cult. I'm gonna guess Warhorse is Man of War. I'm gonna guess. Let's go! <laughs> This here is designed based on Man of War. If there's only one racehorse to divine the sport, Man of War is the one. I'm gonna guess Big Red is off of Secretariat, which I think I found out last time. Big Red embodies the virtual essence of Secretariat. Let's go. I got it right. So yeah, Black Caviar is Australia. I do remember that. And again, Nelly is a colt in game, and Black Caviar is a filly. So it is interesting that they're switching up the genders off of the horses they're based. Okay, it has been five minutes since I scheduled the race, so I'm just going to do some training races. 
activities. No activities. Okay, they do have their Discord linked, though. Announcements. I'm guessing this is just their weekly announcements. Okay, so they are going to be having a UI update, which you can see in this photo right here. I'm guessing that'll change the POV, which I really like, like, the first person slash, like, third person POV. I don't like the side POV as much, so I'm happy that they're changing the UI. Yeah, immersive first person view. This perspective provides a lifelike experience, making you feel like you're right in the midst of thrilling races. I do like the first person. <laughs> also, a live interaction, so that'll be fun for live streams. All right, so I have looked over the entirety of the game. This is a browser game, so if you guys would like to try it, it is in my description. It is free to play. There are options over here to get more currency. That is a little warning, but it is free to play. So it isn't just microtransactions in order to win. It's not pay to win. You can win just by running the horses like I did. You guys can also join their Discord through the website and go and check out new updates and look for more information. Also, if you guys have any notes about this game, whether things you liked or didn't like, feel free to comment it and the developers will be able to see. I try to say this for every single game I'm testing or doing beta with or anything like that, um, just so the developers can see feedback from the viewers. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated, and I will see you in the next video or stream.